Hey what's up guys, I'm Kim Bonanno and welcome back to my channel today. We're back with more alien isolation. Oh my god, I'm really nervous today. Uh, last video was so stressful, so incredibly stressful. Like we were in the medical facility and if you played this game, you know why it was so stressful. I don't think we're quite over it just yet. We still need to find the trauma kit. If you guys are ready, I think that we should just get started. He's making a lot of noise today. Where am I going? Oh, what is this? Stunting. Oh, he's freaking me out. He's making so much noise today. A little stompy stompy alien. Okay. Environmental controls. Activate cooling system. What am I doing? I don't know what I did. Um, hold on. I do know that we have like quite a lot of notes uh, that I have not read yet. So I think that we could start off the episode by doing that. Environmental controls. Lengard, Frank, your concern about San, San Cristobal's lockdown. I butchered that name so fast. <laughs> Has been noted, but I assure you... An evacuation is 100% necessary and only a temporary measure. My priority is the welfare of the living while you seem to be more preoccupied with your with the dead. If you're worried about power fluctuations, morgue temperature and the condition of the corpses, just adjust the coolant delivery system. Just get out of there ASAP, Lingard. All right, so I already have troubles with reading, um, but I don't know, this might not concern anyone, but in, I study graphic design and we learn a lot about, you know, what fonts and all that are easy to read. And all caps is just a no-go. I don't know why they chose this. <laughs> it's so, so bad. Ojin Marshall Investigation. Frank, I need to talk to you. I've got a body up here that's part of a Marshall investigation. Female, late 30s, chest wound. I have no idea how long Marshall's Marshall await I have no idea how long Marshall waits will want to keep her up here. But this is a highly sensitive situation. I'm going to need your dis discretion and I'll also need you to trust me on this one. Come see me in my office, Lingard, senior medical officer. See, the whole thing is, you know, Marshall. I don't know if that's, it's probably a name, but I don't, I can't be 100% sure because everything is in caps. <laughs> it's really annoying. Something I can play I here. Take kindly to be left out of the loop, Morley. You hear me? I tried to use the dispensary today and found I was locked out. I can't possibly be expected to carry out my duties if you and Lingard cut my access privileges. I have patients who will relapse without that medication, particularly when things on the station are so precarious. I will not see patient care suffer. Consider this a formal warning. And for the record, I do not have a problem. Coleman, out. Yeah, a few weird choices in this menu. The all caps, I do not like when I have to read it. And the audio files are so quiet. Like, I need, I can't make a sound. 
and because then I won't be able to hear. I'm gonna boost up the volume for you know in editing, but when I'm just sat here, I I can't hear what they're saying. Almost, it's it's weird, weird choices. I'll have to say. Hospital quarantine. That was the code. Low on meds. Dr. Lingard, we need more supplies of mood stimulants up here. We're getting really low and it doesn't help, but that Coleman seems to be handing them out like candy. Lux shows he's been to the dispensary 16 times this week. We need to start ration rationing medication. Sevastopol's people are only going to need these more and more the closer we get to shut down. Can you talk to Coleman? Find out where these prescriptions are going oh so is that the problem he was talking about maybe he's using it himself this is the commercial vessel Torrens out of st Clair, registration number msv 7760 calling sevastopol traffic control we're carrying three passengers on a wayland yutani bond you're holding the nostromo flight recorder unit we request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over Hmm. Was that not the message uh, they used when we needed to get on board? Maybe that's the one that we picked up. I don't know. Apollo's Eye. Rix, are you still working down in Seeks and Communications? Remember that trouble you got into last year? The trouble I helped you out of? Well, it's time to repay the favor. One of my colleagues has been looking into some of the import documents and found a few problems. He's new, so he doesn't understand how we do things on Sevastopol, and he's th threatening to go to Waits about it. Waits? That's probably a name. This could hurt us all, so I need you to keep an eye on him. See if anything interesting comes up. Apollo has cameras everywhere. It, seem it just needs someone to tell it where to point to. His name is Daniel Holden. Lives in Josh Joshua, Sig Executive APTS six five one. Oh, if this goes well, I might have more work for you. We could clean up here. Ransom, you are logged a message. Sensitive corporate information has been automatically detected in a Sevasto link message recently sent from this terminal. This event has been locked by Apollo on behalf of Seekson. If you have any further question, please talk to your line manager or your nearest synthetic Seekson representative. representative. Call log PM, put me through to the marshal's office. It's an emergency. Someone's robbing my store. I... Apollo, please stand by. Your call is being rerouted. He's gone. It... It... Killed him. <laughs> I think it's still here. Apollo, please stand by. Your call is being rerouted. Call log. What's going on up there? I've been waiting for a call and... Apollo, please stand by. Your call is being rerouted. Hello? My working Joe is acting strangely. It won't listen to anything I... Please stand by. Your call is being rerouted. I need help. I'm trapped in my apartment. There's an android outside and... Please stand by. Your call is being rerouted. Marie, if you get this, I'm making my way to Seeks and Communications now. I didn't wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. <laughs> Please understand, this is our best shot. Someone has got to re-establish communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. <laughs> Don't worry about me, I'll be back. I'm not going to leave you and Claire alone. I have a feeling that's not what happened. Everything now? Okay. God, now it's so loud. What's this? Engage coolant. Um, explore the San Cristobal medical facility. Find a trauma kit. Mm, I don't think these one clocked in. Oh yeah, they did. I 
I can't do this. Maybe it's already done. You son of a bitch, shut up. annoying. Um. Not sure what I'm doing. I need, I know, I, I need, I know. <laughs> I know I need to find a trauma kit, but that is locked. I don't know if there's any vents he can jump out of around here. Oh my god. It probably is. Or he's gonna crawl out of crawl out of the booty hole. Trauma kit. Oh, trauma, trauma, trauma kit. Trauma kit. What am I doing? There's a button here. Vent access. Do we want to do that? Samuels, there's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. What? Do I need to go in the booty? I don't know. Lingard's office for information? But I would don't want to go with that booty home. <laughs> All right. Let's just do this again. I'll have to admit, I... I've already done this. I know. But, um, my... My will to get through this after the alien showed up was just... It wasn't strong enough uh, the other day, so... Here I am with another attempt. I also think I just gotta come to terms with that this is how the game is now. That I'm not gonna be safe anywhere. So. I might as well just accept that I'm gonna be. be haunted. 
by this very, very scary being. Um, that's just the way it is. Now, I've noticed that there's not any doors. Excuse me. Um, and we can exit. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to go through the vent. Should be great. Samuels, there's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. Try and go and save. like this be brave We're still after the trauma kit. Sorry, uh, I paused, but oh, item max. Oh no. Uh, what am I even building? A med kit. Okay, sure. There we go. Um, I've had some, I don't know if any of you guys record videos as well, but I've had some trouble with OBS where I can't hear my game audio and I've checked that it's set to monitor and output. Excuse me? Oh god, <laughs> the flap scared me. Um, other way. So yeah, I was just um, a little bit paranoid. Oh good god, okay that's not lit up and my dog. This bargain, all good. Oh, I'm very stressed. So even that just... Um, stressed me out a little bit. Is that a safe station? Hygiene area. Hello. It's me. Excuse what the hell is that noise? Is it above me or? I 
don't know. It's here. Isn't it? It is. I hear stomping. I think it's a little bit loud for you guys. And sometimes I can't tell if it's my heart that's beating. Or if it's... Because I can hear him. Fuck that bitch. Here is safe station somewhere. I'm so quiet. I'm <laughs> really tense. We check the computer. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Oh my god. This is Lingard. That was Senior so medical wild. Officer Sevastopol Station. I want to... I want to stay... Can he still come in here while this is going on? I have been placed under duress with regards to... Or if it's a cutscene. Patient Zero. And Ransom, Season's head of operations, he... He made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. God. That woman needed help. I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something inside her. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. Search operating theater. That's 
somewhere over there. Okay, so how do we get over there? <laughs> I can hear a safe station, and I think it's gonna be to our right because there's no I couldn't hear anything when we were uh, on the other side of the this area. Oh boy. So he went where I want to go. Oh, hi, tail. Oh. See me, don't see me, don't see me. Oh, shit. Um, and by the way, I, I saw a lot of you pointed out that the, it, the green thing around the edge is pointing to... My next objective and I, I am aware. Um, don't worry. <gasps> that didn't scare me at all. Why? Is the fire gonna... Keep him distracted or... I don't know if this was a rookie mistake. I guess if you played the game, you know that you would probably have to go the other way around. I don't even know if you have to go there, but I, I think that there could be a safe station because I could hear it. So I want to go there. <laughs> I also know that he- sorry, I also know he can hear the thing, so... Try not to use it too much, but... Or not hold it up for too long. That's blocked. Wait. Yeah, I can't go there.
Please. Okay, I just can't figure out how to read a map. <laughs> uh, what does the hashtag mean? Passcode lock. Wait, did I read a code? Uh, I don't think I did. It might be in the computer in front of us. We'll see. I really have no idea. Uh, maybe we need to get through the door. Is there a door? I can't see. Uh, there's like a green personal terminal. Molotov. card required are you kidding me give me a break <sighs> okay think um do i need to go back He's in the vent. Please don't find me. Have any of you guys ever seen him jump into a vent? Oh 
Oh, that thing. Well, I'm not going to know what to do with that. So, yeah, we probably need to find a key card. Did we find anything here? Uh, Saint Cristobal lockdown. Saint Cristobal Medical has been locked down by the colonial marshals until further notice. Sevastopol's medical team are setting up field hospitals throughout Sevastopol to deal with the ongoing crisis. Locations to follow. Marshal waits. Uh, Morley updates and codes. Morley, I need you out of medical. We set up a shop in the habitation. Habitation tower. People are fighting over supplies. We've got more injuries coming in than we have the meds to deal uh, with them. And my team is depleted to say the least. I don't know how you'll break the lockdown, but if you need to access San Cristobal's central wards, I left a key card in the security locker. The code is 2505. Is that the code? She really start to read things. <laughs> Sorry. Colonial Marshall's detective. Uh, Dr. Marley, I don't care what you think you need to do. I want you out of San Cristobal uh, now. You know what we've set up in, in there, and I'm truly sorry for what it means for the patients who can't be moved. But this is the only way. There will be no further warnings. The Lingard, on her return, I've prepped the patients in the trauma ward for transportation. As best I can. Before Waits locks the place down, I'm going upstairs to the psychiatric ward to make sure there are no stragglers. The dispensary is now empty. Everything St. Cristobal has to offer in terms of first aid and medicine is with you or elsewhere on station. I'm hoping you'll bring back good news. Environmental controls. Uh, for your concerns about San Cristobal's lockdown has been noted, but I assure you and every- Okay, I've read that for sure. Okay. <gasps> Let's go! Take it, take it! Oh my god. Pick up the fucking key card. What? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Samuel. I'm on my way. <laughs> Just literally spamming X to get it. Ugh. Gonna go. Oh, great. It's got to hell in here, Samuels. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Good shaking. Oh my god. Wait. Wants me to go the other way? Maybe that's better. We'll see. Good.
Sorry. Can I open this? Hello? There's something here with me? I don't know. Am I in the right room? Nope. Might have to go down another door. We have a visitor. I'm so paranoid by everything. He's definitely here. He's everywhere. And now I have to look out for the robots too. For the androids. Hello? going on? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Just when I had asked the blood is that it Samuels I've got the meds oh, oh shit what could have it entered we're at the transit station outside medical reception Ripley we heard gunshots and if we heard them so did the creature power plant oh my god this place is humongous There you are, my precious. Ripley, your way out through the medical reception is locked down. The only way to open up an exit is to trigger the hospital's evacuation procedure. <laughs> oh, thank the lords. Initiate medical evacuation procedure. But I was going the other way.
The only reason I went in here was because it looked like I could go through... Please edit cam, can you put in a, a, an arrow or something? <laughs> I could go through that door, or it looks like it's a door, it usually is. Um, and do something... that... Oh, I need to use this. That's gonna make a lot of noise, isn't it? I have no idea what's going on. What am I doing? Am I going in somewhere? The computer? Store power? Oh hi! Generator over here. I'm gonna go this way because there's a vent. Well, there might be one over here too. As fast as I can. Huh? So what am I doing now? Initiate evacuation? Oh yeah, the computer. Oh! I didn't see the android. Ripley, are you okay? No. Ripley. Not now. Was it just the one? Fuck all if the alien is gonna pop in here as well. Well, he most certainly wants to. Looks like there's someone behind you, helping you every single step of the way. Please. Oh shit. Uh. uh oh. Where am I going? Uh oh.
I'm over here, you dumb nut. Where am I going? Literally. I don't know. I think I have to go all the way around, don't I? Did you like, what the hell? Museum over there. Why did I even go in here?
so scared. <laughs> it's behind me. What? Are you kidding? You're like not gonna kill that guy? Scene. Thing. Oh no. Why is there no audio? Was the audio glitched or Okay. Hold on a minute. Okay, it's in the game. I'm sorry about that. Escape, I see ladder, I climb. <laughs> go, Ripley, go. I think I called her Riley. Um, in the previous video at some point. Oh my god. Careful. Suck. Okay. Fine. Go down. I would like a calm and peaceful moment, please. I lost some health. What the hell? Can't see. <laughs> Hello? Oh my god, where are we now? Elevator? Please. Sometimes with <laughs> the cotton trap. Oh my god. Sometimes when you have to pick something up or interact with something, it's a little bit finicky. Might just be me doing something wrong, but picking up that key card especially, that was a task in, on its own. <laughs> oh my god. I just really want to get that trauma kit back to Taylor.
They did that on purpose. I don't like this. This is a long vent. Okay. There's a piece oh. missing. I need to fix that. Please. Elevator malfunction. Repair required. This is so fucked up. It really is. Take a wild guess that they're not friendly. See, right now would be a great moment for him to show up. I'm stuck. Time's almost up. What do you want to do? I might as well just the time. Okay. I might as well just reload. <laughs> that was stupid. I didn't see the uh, the other guy. I'm sorry. Do we have like a basic map or <sighs> do I use a med kit? I don't know if the alien can crawl out of booty holes. <coughs> yeah, I can't hide behind that. Mission training. Awesome. Listen up for movement. Could be anywhere. There's a ladder over there. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. We're looking for a cylinder. Seed your observation. I should probably walk a bit more normally. Keep it together, huh? We can get through this. Yeah, I don't trust that. I know I can play some of these, but... I think I'll just read them. For the most part, because they're so quiet. When you try to listen to them. safe station in here. Oh, smoke bomb, let's go. Did I already find that? I mean, I think I already have a smoke bomb, but... Okay, the two dots are just the guys downstairs. Dying for a smoke. Mm -hmm. Can't relate. I don't smoke. You do you, boo. Component storage. There's something under the bed. Have We're a little bit scared. Please, use it. Not cool. 
Is he gonna be in here? Use the requisition enter to access the components warehouse. Ah, uh, shit. <sighs> okay, I have two objectives. Objectives. Use the find a way to open the door to the warehouse. To access the components. I hear a safe station. Fuck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate that. Oh, nice. Uh, have an ID tag. Okay. That's good. So... I'm guessing I need to hack the door then. There's a butthole there. Sorry, let me just look. Mm. Okay, so um, am I just gonna... What are we doing? Store power. <sighs> All right. I think before I start going into the vents, there is a room outside of here, and there's like a ladder. Is he just an event? No idea. Might be up here. Oh, another one! <laughs> that, maybe it was that one I could actually hear, but then I started moving closer to the other one and then... Is there a vent around here? We'll see. I just saved, so. There we go. What's this gonna do? God, that's a lot of noise. Okay, I can't save. Do I need to go in here? We'll see. I was a bit slow on that one. Alright. Got some stuff in here. Alright, I'll uh, try my best to... to read these. Um...
Yeah, I can't put scrap into anything. Is it green in there? <gasps> oh god! Jesus! <sighs> I was looking up because it looked like something was falling down. I guess it must have been the wind thing. Okay. I took some damage from that. So let's not do that. Okay, let's try this. I haven't seen the alien. I've only heard him in the vents a little bit, but let's hope he's friendly. Now play nice. Just gonna keep a little bit of a distance in case he's not. How can I help you? I need a compression cylinder. Okay. Components warehouse. Row one, stack B. Follow me. Just keep the noise down, okay? Jolly, be quiet, don't make a sound. You got to lower your voice. A little bit now. Your neck is a little bit bendy. Is it normal? I guess he's just very skinny. I know he's a robot. <laughs> okay, go in. Whoa! This is very high fashion. High fashion? <laughs> Couture. Here we are. Your compression cylinder will be found at the far end of this row. Hey, butthole. Okay, he said A row. I guess that's the game's way of telling you to not go that way. Oh, uh, could I do something here? I gotta move up and down. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, there's goodies on these. Oh. Is it just my game today or. Like sensor? Why not? Um, how do we get on the other side here? Sure, if I trust that. Hmm. And there's a vent over here. We have to go around. I just... Oh, good God. Well, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. 
Just move one of them all the way down, right? Can I just walk over it then? It's so smart. And so stupid at the same time. I mean, you could probably scooch there in real life. If you really wanted to. Maybe you could also just use your brain for once. I tried. I don't know if there's just one thing on each. Is that the only one blinking? I think it is. What do you mean it's locked? <laughs> I don't know if I sometimes just want to get... Oh, what's this? <gasps> nice. What's with the music, yo? Oh, that's one playing game too. Okay. I think we're good. Now we just need to get back to the elevator and then we're done diddly diddly done. At least here. I think I'm just gonna try and go the same way I came from. That worked the last time and I'll just save in here if I can. <laughs> Why not? When I'm done with this game, if it's got the same feature like Resident Evil, then... That it like tells you how many times you've saved. I've been in there. There's still someone down there. Poster scared me. <laughs> Hello? They got eaten, didn't they? Five. Good God, I would not put my. Jesus Christ, I'm slow. I would not put my fingers near that. <sighs> okay, no alien. At least, not after us. That was nice for once. I guess he's a little bit... his tummy is a little bit full now. <gasps> Another one. We're saving all over the place now. Find exit to synthetic fluid plant. Fluid. 
little bit of a weird word. I know what it means, it's just weird. There's people up there. Do you guys see that? <gasps> Behind them. Oh no. Oh, it's take. <gasps> it took a guy. Are they friendly? Oh shit. think they're friendly. I'm not gonna take the ladder. Fuck that. If they got guns, it's no bueno. And I still... Wait, what did I miss? Might just be the elevator. Exclamation? Point of interest. Maybe it's on another level. Uh -oh. Spooky. Oh, I'm getting ammo. Where am I going? We're here, safe station. in here can we please with the music tone it down a tiny bit it's very intense I'm sorry that I'm not like reading them right away, but it's just a bit easier to read when I'm in a calm state of mind. Excuse me. to shoot people? That's not gonna go well. How do I use my revolver? <laughs> uh, I mean, I just saved. choice. I'm sorry. I probably did, but here we are. Checking for something. Store or low power. Either okay. There's a elevator. Good, good. Let's go. <sighs> I'm so stressed. Meat item. Interesting. Hmm. Use lever. Uh. Oh, wrong one.
Access granted. Where am I going? Um. No idea. I'm not even sure where I am. Um. Okay. Ugh, my neck is a bit stiff right now because I'm so tense while playing. Excuse me. I've realized how bad I am at recognizing patterns while playing this. Oh, not this shithole again. I sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be. Is she dead? Hey. Identify yourself. Uh oh. Ripley, from the Torrens. Relax, kid. She gone? What the hell is going on here, Marshall? Well, they're Where's treating the her, forces? so I guess not. You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here it's by Marlo, bear. the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around, and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley. Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. She's we so needy. We have a basic Taylor. life support unit back at HQ. Then Can let's go. We need the transit to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit control is upstairs. Samuels says you're an engineer. Go make yourself useful, seeing as you screwed up the trap. The trap? Yeah, right. We'll talk about that later, Waits. You protect them while I'm gone. Understood? Understood. Ricardo, get a lock on our radio so we can stay in touch. Sorry. All right. Oh. ID? <gasps> I missed this. Okay, let me save. We'll read the notes. And then I think I'm done for today. I don't even know for how long I've played. Probably way too long and I did nothing. <laughs> okay, synthetic engineer request. Can I get someone from Seekson Synthetics to look at my android? I've just worked at 24... I just worked a 24-hour shift helping with trauma patients and I'm the dentist. Which won't... Every one of them moved out of the hospital and no one is telling me anything. If I'm going to be pulling down these kinds of hours, I need some extra help. We've got an android down here with perfectly adequate programming, but he's been gathering dust because apparently the same model started acting up on the other side of the station. What the hell is going on with this place? Get someone down here now before I make an official complaint, Fernandez. Elevator out. I just got another message from Spedding about the busted elevator outside the Android Examination Theater. My guys have got a, mil a million things to do right now, so it's not going to be fixed in time for your VIP visit. If Spedding, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, wants to be a priority, then maybe he should stop being a petulant asshole. It's an easy job off the top of my head. I can tell you the parts you need are in component storage, row 1, stack B. If you can't find it yourself, ask the requisitions android. Just get off my back. Uh, Spedding. Now you've fired me, you'll have to descend from your ivory tower to pick up the slack. The guys decommissioning Sevastopol have free access to supplies, store so to supplies and storage, but everyone will need locking. So use the re requisitions android. Power him up, let him out of his box, and go and watch him go. Just like me, huh? By the time you get this, I'll be dead drunk in Gillan's bar. I guess you already know this, but it's been pure hell working for you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Smythe. 
A remarkable growth, Seek and Sun, proved to be the backbone of colonial FTL expansion providing reliable components that could carry humanity deep into space. In so, in so doing, it grew, and by 2066 was running vast manufacture plants in London. Buenos Aires, I said that incorrectly. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. And the lunar she she court she court. Argentine frontier. I'm sorry, there are so many words I butchered right there. By 2071, the year the Sieg family sold its shares back into the company, it ex its expansion remained exponential. Single-minded rivals looked on, their, on, on with envy as Sieg and Son became market leader manufacturing cars, chemicals, educational equipment, and building materials. Toward the end of the last century, came a move that would forge our shared future. Sieg and Son became Sieksen. <laughs> we took on the name our customers had known us by for decades and we turned to and we turned to face tomorrow together among the stars. Uh Russell, upstairs want a full rundown on what we've got uh stacked in component storage. There's some useful stuff in there, some junk they want to value estimates too. Smith. Working Joe Spiel. Russell, here is my spiel for the potential clients today. What do you think? Sp spedding will hang out to dr will hang me out to dry if they don't bite. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome to the buzzing heart of the Sevastopol Synthetic Solution. Next up on your tour will be the Sistec Spear and the Apollo Core itself. But first, an example of Android self governance. When Apollo's synthetics require a little more care than the repair wards can provide, they come here. We believe this is the first rollout of fully automated synthetic to synthetic medical intervention. No human expertise required, no costly human surgical training. All data is streamed directly from Apollo and every incision recorder in its logs. This is the future, gentlemen. Tomorrow, together. So if they can live, you know, broadcast or stream the data to the androids, then maybe someone turned something on or pressed the wrong button and they all went crazy. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> WY or years ahead report Smythe ahead of synthetics development. I just received a schematics for the 120A8. I don't know how much we paid our mole, but the season board is gonna need to shell out a hell of a lot of more. I know this seems old for... I know this seems old tech for WY, but it's beyond anything we're capable of. Our key execut executives... Ex executives, sorry, and shareholders won't listen, but we need investment. The company and all its Subs subsidiaries <laughs> are light years ahead of us. All right, guys, that is enough stress, at least for me for today. Despite how stressful it is, once I'm kind of in the mood to play the game, I'm having a lot of fun. It was just the other day, I don't know. Once I saw the alien, I was just like, not already. <laughs> I I still have to just get used to that he's just gonna be following me everywhere so he can show up at any time and I just need to adjust to that. But what I found weird was that he didn't show up today. Uh, at least, you know, in the first part. I'm like, did I take too long or did I do something that might have triggered him to show up the first time or is it just random sometimes you're you're lucky and sometimes you're just out of luck i just think i got a bit overwhelmed by the situation because i i'd already seen that there was no other doors to go to so i would probably have to go through the vent and i already knew that since we had to activate the vent uh vent access so I already had the thought that I would probably have to go through the vent. And with him roaming such a small space, I was like, how am I how am I gonna do this? Because I was so scared that once I would just move away from my position that he was gonna just walk into that room. 
and then I would have to do it again. It wasn't that much I would have to redo, which is fine, but I just hate, I just hate being found. And I think that really shows. I've, I've only, that well, I've died two times. Um, but uh, the, the alien has killed me once. But yeah, I, I guess it'll just, as I've said, take some time for me to adjust. And I was definitely wrong about this, that I would probably get used to this. I know we probably still have at least, at least 10 hours of the game left. Probably more. If it's 18 hours, around 18 hours. Oh gosh. <laughs> and I play it very slowly, so... It will take me a while. But yeah, I am so happy that you guys are enjoying the playthrough. Um, I know that I missed like a blueprint in the last video, which... Dum dum. Um, I got a little bit distracted of me having to go back and check my footage uh, of the rooms because I... The board that was there, I didn't look at what rooms I needed to check. Uh, so I got distracted by that and just completely forgot about it. But we found Molotovs. Yay. <laughs> um, and I'll try and look a bit more around and see if I can find some more things. But yeah, again, just thank you so much for all the support and for the useful tips. It's definitely gonna gonna help me. As long as it's not too spoilery, I would really, really appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. I also stream over on Twitch and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you want to support my channel even more, you can check out the links in the description down below. That is all for me for now. So bye and take care.